Jane Goodall and the World of Chimpanzees. Jane Goodall has dedicated her life to the study of chimpanzees. She developed a fascination with animals when she was a child. As a young woman, she traveled to Africa, where she worked with Louis Leakey, a noted anthropologist. An anthropologist studies the origin of humans. Leakey was famous for several important discoveries. He showed, for example, that modern humans first came from Africa. In 1960, Goodall set up the Gombe Stream Game Reserve. The aim of the reserve was to study chimpanzees. The reserve was later turned into a national park, Gombe Stream National Park. Gombe Stream is Tanzania's smallest national park. It's a small strip of land covering steep slopes, gorges, and river valleys next to Lake Tanganyika. It's only 52 square kilometers in size and is located 16 kilometers north of the city of Kigoma. Gombe Stream has a diverse ecosystem of wonderful creatures. The park is famous for its chimpanzees, but it also has a group of beachcomber olive baboons. People have been studying them since the 1960s too. There are also red-tailed and red colobus monkeys, which live in the forest canopy. The chimpanzees sometimes hunt the red colobus monkeys. Goodall discovered many things about chimpanzees that were not known before. It's not hard to see why Jane Goodall fell in love with chimpanzees. They are fascinating creatures. When you look into their eyes, you might feel as though they are assessing you. Chimpanzees are a species of ape different from monkeys. They have no tails, but they do have complex brains. Other apes include orangutans and gorillas. Chimpanzees are the most closely related to humans. They stand between 1 and 1.7 meters tall. They weigh between 32 and 60 kilograms. They are covered by a coat of brown or black hair, though they have none on their faces. They usually have white skin except on their hands and feet, where it is black. Chimpanzees live in Africa, in tropical forests, and in the savanna, a tropical grassland. Chimpanzees wake up at dawn. They spend time both on the ground and in the trees where they can swing and leap from branch to branch. They like to rest around the middle of the day, and in the afternoon they like to eat. They eat many different things but are mostly vegetarian. They like to eat berries, leaves, fruit, and seeds. Sometimes, though, they eat meat, including eggs and baby birds. Sometimes they hunt birds and monkeys. They even use some plants to help cure diseases they have caught or to kill any parasites they have. When they walk, they move on all four limbs using the knuckles on their hands. They can't swim, but sometimes they wade in water. Chimpanzees are very social animals. They are quite extroverted. They live in loose groups based around the male chimpanzee's home range. A home range is the area in which the chimpanzees live. In the forest, the home range might be a few kilometers. In the savanna, the range might be much larger, up to several hundred kilometers. Chimpanzee groups are organized by status. The most dominant are usually adult males. There is usually one dominant or alpha male who has the highest status. Still, there is a great amount of flexibility in the groups, 
and individual male chimpanzees can join and leave groups freely. In a group, there are usually twice as many females as there are males. Separate groups usually have hostile relationships with one another. When one group invades another group's home range, they usually start to fight. The local group tries to repel the invaders. Some often end up being killed in the fight. At the Gombe Park, Goodall witnessed a war between two groups. She described it as awful, not just for the chimps, but for me. I thought they were like us, but nicer. In fact, chimpanzees can be violent. Chimpanzees often show many traits similar to those of humans. To begin with, they're very intelligent. Some researchers have taught chimpanzees to use sign language. There is a lot of debate about how important this is. In the wild, chimpanzees use facial expressions, sounds like grunts, roars, and cries, and physical movements to communicate. Goodall thinks that our use of spoken language is one of the most important differences between chimpanzees and us. Chimpanzees can also use tools. They use sticks, branches, and leaves to fish out ants and termites. They crack nuts using stones and other hard objects. Sticks can be used to inspect unfamiliar objects and dead animals like snakes. Jane Goodall remembers discovering how chimpanzees use tools as if it were yesterday. She watched it through binoculars. She says, at that time, it was thought that humans and only humans used and made tools. I had been told from school onwards that the best definition of a human being was man the toolmaker. Yet I had just watched a chimp toolmaker in action. Interestingly, different groups use tools differently. They learn this knowledge from older members of the group. This means that different chimpanzee groups have their own cultures. Like humans, chimpanzees have a highly developed social system. They often share with each other and seem to understand the idea of trade. One chimpanzee might give another some meat and set up an alliance with that chimpanzee. The other would then give something important back. This also protects them in case of conflict. Goodall discovered the chimpanzees hug and kiss each other. They sympathize with each other and protect their allies. They recognize themselves. They can be very curious. They feel grief and disappointment. They have been known to tease weaker chimpanzees and hide some information that others might use against them. Chimpanzees are clever animals. Genetically, humans and chimps are 98% the same. This reminds us that humans and animals might not be so different. We are just one of a wider group. Many of the things we share with chimpanzees, especially our social and emotional development, are the things that have made us such a successful species. It's the 2% genetic difference that makes humans the most dominant animal on our planet. Goodall is one of the most important people in the study of chimpanzees. She discovered that they eat meat and use tools. She also was the researcher to first note how developed chimpanzees are socially. Many of these discoveries were made in the Gombe Stream National Park. Goodall wrote many books, including The Chimpanzees of Gombe, Patterns of Behavior, which summarizes much of her research. For her work, she has been awarded many honors and awards. 
She is still writing and lecturing about chimpanzees today. One member of the first group that Goodall studied is still alive. Her name is Fifi, who was only three years old when Goodall first arrived. People who visit the park sometimes see her. Goodall is a famous conservationist. She urges people to think about the future. In recent years, she set up a program called Shoots and Roots, which encourages young people to get involved in the study of animals and in conservation. In particular, she hopes to protect the areas where chimpanzees live. At the moment, these areas are under threat. Chimpanzees are endangered by the destruction of their habitats. Good although is working to protect the chimpanzees so her research can continue. Discuss. Describe two things you learned about chimpanzees and two things you learned about Jane Goodall from reading the selection.